SCAF Logic introduces you to a world of logic. Hello and welcome to the world of SCAF Logic. Today we will be discussing how to make gaps in scaffolds. In this video I will be using Liar Speedy Scaff Scaffold. If you have a different scaffold brand, you may notice that I have different measurements and components. In this case, when we need to make gaps in a scaffold, we can only do it from the elevation view in the content menu. You normally use gaps when you are adding balconies or other objects hanging out from the wall. The elevation view menu is very simple to use. You just scroll down to gap and two options will appear, add gap, and add gap with bridging. Right now I will select the first option and say this is a gap. As you can see, the system has removed all the components of this section. Let's do it one more time, only this time we will ask the system to add a gap with bridging. Notice that the system has removed the associated components and added a bridging beam as well as additional anchors to hold the scaffold in place. For fun, Let's try to add in what is known as an edge gap. Again, you can see I can do it with or without bridging. I will select bridging because I have already disrupted the structure underneath and I want to make sure there is plenty of support bracing so the structure will hold. In this case, the system uses a different kind of beam, but it is fully supported with anchors. We will now go down and continue removing sections adding gaps to create a gateway instead of a gap. Notice the system is automatically reacting to my requests. This function can be used in many handy ways and in 3D you can see that the system has automatically braced the frame or verticals so the scaffold will hold. In this area, you can see that the original liar component was not used. The system used another type of beam, which is just a 45 centimeter aluminum beam. If we zoom in, you can see all the extra anchors and couplers used to make a strong bracing structure. This function is very flexible and can be used in many ways. Just remember that if you delete your scaffold and rebuild it, all the gaps will be lost. 